Hi baddies, before we get into our interview with Brittany Babe and Sean Will, I want to give a spoiler warning. We talk about all the juicy details of episodes 1 to 6. If you haven't watched, then pause, save this for later, and come back. I need the queer goodness to wash over you for the first time actually watching the show. Next, I want to say thank you for watching our first recaps. I made this channel with black queerness in mind, and so I'm happy this podcast can cover this show and it's getting eyes on it. I hope you subscribe and check out our other content. We're doing recaps of Love is Blind Season 6 with Quita Tinsley, the same co-host I have for A Couple to Thrupple. I'm also covering The Traitors and... I've been rotating reality TV guests all month. A lot of Survivor folks, but also some Big Brother peeps. Well, that's all for now. Here's my interview with Brittany and Sean. Listening to Black Bi Reality, a place for Black Bi baddies, those who love us. I'm so excited because, as you guys know, I am recapping Couple to Thruple, and I have our Black couple here looking beautiful. Oh, thank, you. You look beautiful too. thank you how are you guys doing pretty good pretty good it's been super super busy uh i've been working sean's been working yeah. but we were like we're gonna do this we're gonna hop in because honestly we saw y'all video someone <laughs> had sent it to me and i was dying so i was like you know what let me reach out because i gotta have one she <laughs> called me yes you mm-hmm. have to come home. You have to see this. So the funniest thing was I think they called me a butch lesbian. I died. <laughs> that was funny. We were, <laughs> over here, we were Delulu. We're just gay and Delulu. We swear <laughs> there was a lesbian couple. And I was like, Corey and Wilder. And it was so funny to me that um, she thought it was you guys. But, <laughs> you know. Like, what? <laughs> that was crazy. I laughed super hard. Yeah. All right. My first question is how did you guys get involved with this show and like what did they tell you the premise was? Well, basically someone actually reached out and let us know that it's going to be a dating show, right? For couples and you're going to be able to choose a single to try to form a three relationship with. Mm-hmm. So that was the whole like point of the show. That's what I was told. Yeah. Nice. It more so labeled it as like non monogamous. Non yeah, non monogamous. Yeah. Yeah. To see okay. if you're actually up for that. So yeah. like if your relationship can handle that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you kinda mm-hmm. don't want to go into it broken. You want to kind of go into it already solid. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. as you've seen, you've seen the first three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have. My um, question is, you said that you've talked to women before. We're so curious. What does that mean? <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely, like, it's, you know what's crazy? I have never talked about this. I've always kept this to myself because I felt like I don't need to talk about it. But we're here, and I'm open to talk about that. So basically, in the past, like, I have flirted um, with other women, I have like talked, you know, like in secret to, you know, I've never actually officially dated another woman, but I definitely talked to, um, I was always curious about that. And my first experience, innocent experience, I was in like the second grade. So you will learn more about that on the show. <laughs> oh, got it. What's your type of woman? I'm so curious about that. Uh, That's a good question. Okay. I can tell you. She has oh. a nice body, athletic, um, and she has to be cute. Um, and honestly, it's more emphasis on like body, nice legs. You I, don't, know? I don't think it's all about image. I mean, you like people who you're inspired by. And that even goes down That's into true. the people who you like on that type of level. They have to inspire you in some kind of way. Um, Just because, not to sound vain, but you do want someone who's nice to look at and is nice on the outside and inside, you know? In some cases, obviously, the inside contributes to more than the outside. But I know for you, like, again, if if you're beating somebody, looks is what attracts us right off the bat. Like, I don't know you, so what does attract me to you? Looks. Yeah. 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 Using more queer terms, Brittany, would you say you're more into femme than women? 
or like mask or like somewhere in between. So yeah. that, all right. I was curious. I was curious. Early. I like early. <laughs> okay. So we <laughs> <laughs> so you started the season we we meet you guys and you guys are open about what you think is lacking in your relationship you said it was like more of an emotional element that you talked about physical but i want to hear from you guys of what is working in your relationship oh, okay Go ahead. Um, so i'll start by saying like we don't feel like we're lacking anything from each other, but we do feel like, okay, there's always room to, you know, improve. We're both not the most emotional or I would say romantic people, but it works mm -hmm. for us because we understand why we are that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would say our best attribute is our communication. Although on the show, you may say, how is that? But we actually have great communication. We, really we, actually, done therapy. we actually have talks every Sunday yeah. about everything that happened during the week, whether it was good, or bad, yeah. or even if it was nothing. Let's just yeah. talk every Sunday and let's figure things out because as you've seen, I can blow up, so we have to talk because if I keep holding things in, then I won't know how to communicate that and I'll explode. So yeah. yeah, I mean, going into the show, we definitely didn't go into it like, oh my God, I'm missing this. Like, I need this. Like, we aren't working. We gotta, like, I'm not trying to save my relationship. That's yeah. number one, like period. I'm not trying to save it. What I'm trying to do is, we've been tight for so long. We've been through so much as well, like a lot. And I hope the show um, actually shows all the like crazy, intense things that we've been through. Yeah. And that's why we're just so like this, because it's been so much. But we're kind of at that point where like, because we were actually thinking about opening up our relationship like when we were like 50. Like, yeah. you know, we always joke around, we're going to be swingers, you know what I mean? Because why not? You know, so... We ended up with this amazing opportunity where there's cameras and stuff, but they we can actually look back at it. And so yeah, and coaches. So yeah. why not give it a shot? You know, and you know, if I have to say like one thing that we can improve on is we are probably like the least emotional couple. Yeah. Like you said, like there's times where everyone's like hugging and touching, and I'm just like, we <laughs> doing that. You know what I mean? So you'll see more of that. Um, yeah. yeah, we will. Let's talk about your first dip in the in the poly pond. So you guys picked Sanu, and on the first night, it seemed like things were cool, uh, but then things change, and this is where reality TV comes in. We have a mixer, and your mm -hmm. second choice is there, and I, the the I think the comment, at least how it's framed in the episode, is it could have been anyone. I told Sean to just pick a name. Yeah. And then that night, I think Sanu was voicing, from what I saw as a viewer, voicing, trying to get reassurance. Because she's like, is Brittany even into me? Is she comparing me to Darian? Okay. And, and the response was, well, don't get into your head. And it's like, that's not reassurance. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay yeah. um, so when I made the comment at the... And the crazy thing about it, before I even answer that part, was that I was actually, all the other singles were communicating with the second person. Mm -hmm. I didn't want Sanu to feel like left out. So I was actually not talking to Darian as much. Maybe you couldn't tell because of, I don't know, the way, the nature of the show. But, yeah. you know, I, that's why I'm so shocked that I did something wrong again, because I'm just like, oh my God, when I was talking and I said, honestly, it could have been anyone, I was coming from a genuine place. Because let me tell you, when we had to choose someone, that's the nature of the show, you have to choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. We kept saying, I don't know if we're ready. Like, I don't have a set decision, and neither did Sean. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we literally came together on this to pretty much just choose someone without putting too much heart into it because we have to choose mm -hmm. someone. So mm -hmm. maybe I could have worded that a little bit better, sure. Yeah. But in mm -hmm. that moment, I was... You know what's funny? He always tells me that I'm like a little aloof. I'm an Aquarius and I can be a very much aloof. I just I'm a Libra, so we're both air okay. signs. <laughs> okay, so you get it. So I say things sometimes, not with the intention to hurt someone, but I say things that can hurt someone and I can own that, right? My intention wasn't to be like, girl, it could No, it was more so like, honestly, it could have been anyone. Yeah. It really could have yeah. because we had to choose and we also as you saw i was a little like apprehensive of pretty much saying if i really liked girls or not you know so it was a lot mm -hmm. happening we only had a few 
not even, I don't think, a full hour to communicate with all the singles. Then we had to choose, like, within 24 hours. It's I'm a like, lot. My husband's a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I feel you. I feel you. I think it was interesting because I think it was pretty clear you were talking to both Sanu and Darian and it's such like a delicate balance and like they know that something's going to go down and that so that's yeah. what happened. Let's talk about then what happened the next day and like the dehumanizing comment because this is actually this is a unique. This has actually been a topic in poly circles. Before. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, and it's just, you know, when you have a couple, obviously you guys already care about each other. There's the term primary partner, but that mm -hmm. then creates like a hierarchy, you know? Um, and I think that means sometimes the third person can either feel lower yeah. um, in stature and not as like important. So when, when Sandu brought up the dehumanizing part, and it's also the experimenting, you know, that part is like, it's so true. Like we learn from every relationship that we're in. But I think for queer people, we're also a little, uh, when the word experiment comes up, cause it's like, but I might actually fall for you, Brittany. You're so beautiful. Yeah, I know. I don't, it's just, my head was really foggy. It was just so much going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, I think when it comes to that particular line and when she says that, the reason why you see us caught off guard is because the whole process is dehumanizing because it is a reality show that is a process of you have to stand there, we have to pick you. So you know how, like, it, it, if I was a know? single, I would feel like, dang, I'm not getting picked. Let's yeah. just say you're not getting picked. Yeah. You gotta keep getting dressed, doing your makeup, yeah. you're coming out. That's you're gonna feel that way, right? Yeah. But in the moment, I didn't think of all of that. I'm just like, yeah. what? I, you yeah. know what I mean? So I kind of yeah. like immediately like wall. And then my ears closed. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? In that moment, obviously time has passed and mm -hmm. you know, we as you saw, we you know communicated on camera as well as off, and there's more things that will happen on the show. But Absolutely. you know, in that moment it just caught me off guard and I couldn't really mm -hmm. process, you know, everything to it. Yeah. You know, it was just that moment where yeah. I just caught off guard. Yeah. yeah. I love that you're able to like talk about that with me and everything like that. So I feel you. I think, and yeah, Sh Sean, like you said, the whole format <laughs> is like a little, yeah. like we're, we're talking about swapping people, which is crazy. <laughs> is. I will say I'm still uh, in, like, I am interested, so, so interested in this season. And I will say that I already watched um, the four to six I think the thirds get their power back in some of these situations. Right. So I think so, but we'll get to that. You guys, let's talk about Peach. Why is Peach a freak? <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so I'll try to phrase it the best way. So our responses are, are sometimes what we're saying. You're only seeing like a third of a full uh answer you know what i'm saying so it's not that we think peach is some crazy freak or whatever like that there was a question asked about something she did or was doing and we gave an answer so i wouldn't say that we think she's a freak or whatever like that. i think she's a very beautiful intelligent woman yeah, she's you know what i'm saying but that was more so just a one-off question that was asked and obviously it's tv so that's all that you, you gotta say. like yeah. Yeah. to match it um and you know you're going off a of first impression so mm -hmm. i saw a tongue ring so i mean just immediately said for That's what we wondered. Uh, we were like, is it the tongue ring? It could be. I mean. That's all I could judge on. That's all I could get at the time I could just judge on. Was just the tongue yeah, ring. yeah. Let's talk about the white party. Because so many things happen. By this time, you guys are ready to move on from Sanu. Peach is there. Darian's there. My question is that Peach talks about, she's like, oh, I would be submissive to you. And you guys are like, all right, that sounds good. Um, in the interview, I think you later say, like, the conversation with Peach 100% changed the game. But then we see the next morning, and you said, your mindset has changed. So can you walk us through what that change was? You're going to have to wait and see yeah. for that. Because I think it's going to come up pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... I, I did get to the later ones, and I will release this later. Okay. So are you talking okay. about when Peach confront, confronts you guys at the Adam and Eve party? 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. You guys told her, like, oh, you actually went with Sanu because you were kind of scared of the spark that you had with Darian and Sanu. That's uh, Darian yeah. and Peach. Mm -hmm. Which, there were some theories about that, and I was like, oh, Sanu probably picked up that you just weren't that into her, which is, like, fine. But it was also interesting that it can, comes out in that conversation, mm -hmm. um, that you guys had more of a spark, you were scared, but then you also said you were done with the conversation with Peach right then and there, and you were, like, 100% on Darian. What was it about that conversation that turned you guys off? You, so you're asking about Which the Adam and Eve part? Adam Eve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Peach, it was like the first time Peach Sorry. was able to go up to you. She was like, that so, last matching ceremony really turned me off because I feel played oh. for you. Oh, okay. okay. I remember, though, you, um, in your last, in your video on us, mm -hmm. you guys said we're all about vibes. So I was laughing because we really are all about vibes. Yeah. So you were spot on with that. And once the vibes are off and we don't mm -hmm. even know each other, I'm a little like, whoa. So that kind of like, I kind of like judged that conversation on, I just thought about the future. So mm -hmm. I immediately like went into like that sort of Raven mood and I saw the future and I saw me and her clashing. Yeah. So I was like, cause I already have a strong personality. I'm aware of that. I can own that. Um, and from my conversation, she does too. She does too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you kept, I know you, I don't know which one, but one of you has said, um, Brittany gives me more of Pillow Princess. That's definitely not the truth. No. <laughs> Maybe that should help understand. <laughs> you know. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. I do wonder, like, vibes valid. Like, and I think in the beginning of a relationship, technically, it should be, like, easy because that's the honeymoon. In the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, obviously it's gonna well, get. Because it's like three people, it's just automatically also complicated. So I wonder, like, true, true. during this situation, how much, uh, how much do you evaluate the vibe versus this is conflict and maybe we can talk through it or not? So I'll say that the vibe really matters because you have to understand that we're also this is our time here, so mm -hmm. we have to make sure that our space is it's a good space and a healthy space and a good vibe because we're on this island, we're in this house and we're spending a lot of time with you. Mm -hmm. So if we think even for a second that the vibe might be off and it might make our experience not the best, then we probably won't, that will make us change our minds. And again, we only have but so much time with each person and having conversations. So yeah. you really have to value the vibe because that literally dictates- And it's okay to argue, you know, let's, yeah. let's, let's go back because when we first met, we argued right away. Okay. He thought he knew everything, I thought I knew everything, yeah. right? So I'm not gonna just easily say that, you know, we can't argue right off the bat, yeah. but I'm here to really try something new that I've never done. Okay, yeah. we've never done anything like this at that time. So it's just like, what? You know what I mean? You know, it's going on. And then now this is happening. This is getting too intense for me because she's used to this. I'm not. Yeah. So this is too much for me. Honestly, mm -hmm. I got to be honest here. I was, I felt a little bit too much, too like overwhelmed. So I didn't want to go make a decision and I'm already feeling super overwhelmed. You know what I mean? At that yeah. time. So. And also during this whole process, um, I'll just speak to because you guys brought up on your last thing too about the whole like, I don't understand the sex thing. I just had to talk about it because. <laughs> That was just a clip, but obviously me being a heterosexual male, I've had threesomes before, but what I was talking about in that clip was I'm with my person who I care about deeply. Mm -hmm. So I don't get how sex works because now we're involving emotions with other people. So I have to be very aware. Yeah, I think he was person. just thinking far, like too, yeah. too far in. Obviously, yeah. once you get to that point at that time, it probably would be making sense at that right. point. Right, because he kind of thinks old, but, forward. Yeah. And he also thinks also black and white. So a lot of times people think that Sean is like just not there, and you know he looks unhappy. He really is happy. Like right yeah. now, he's ecstatic, but he yeah. just can't tell. <laughs> what are, what's your sign, Sean? Leo. So Leo, interesting. Do you do you know your big three? What is no, that? I don't, I don't know. What no. that is. Oh, like the moon and all that? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I know that we're <laughs> we're six months apart, so we're like the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, uh, but that makes total sense. I kind of wish we saw more of that conversation. Yeah, I wish. yeah it's like, are you going to get jealous? Like, that would have been also, like, a good part 
to put in the jealousy episode, honestly, because it's like, yeah. Um, how do you balance that? All right. So let's talk about Darian. You rated your sexual tension with her pretty high, like at a nine. Darian says in her interview that she was like, oh, I would have rated it lower just because <laughs> there's no touching going on. Yeah, that's her love language, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but her also her big thing was that she didn't feel comfortable making a move on either of you because you guys don't make moves on each other. I what guess. does that make sense? I, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I can't argue with it. <laughs> oh, did she ever tell you that? I'm curious. She did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She did. So I definitely, you know, like, I definitely understood where she was coming from. Yeah. I mean, everyone in the house would be able to agree with that. So. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys make a conscious effort then to, like, switch up how you interact with oh, each other? Oh, we tried so hard. We really made a lot of efforts. We made a lot of efforts. Like, honestly, since then, we have been improving. Because yeah. like, really, yeah. I felt like we clearly got to work on that. Like, yeah. Everybody talks about it. But also, yeah. you have to understand, too, for us, we're going on the show and we're also representing, like, the Black community. So you don't want to present yourself in a very, like, salacious way where, like, now they're like, oh, of course you guys will be on there doing this. So in our minds, we have this whole thing going yeah, on. Yeah, I have a million thoughts yeah. in my head. There's cameras everywhere in the bathroom, the shower. Like, I kind of feel like, you know, I have no, no moment to really, like, take it all in. So yeah. I do think that I was also like in my head, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. on top of that. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's talk about that because being the only black anything is a lot of pressure. Um, you've seen it back. I was going to ask about that. What do they say about filming and sex to you guys? Because obviously the other couples, they're getting it in everywhere. <laughs> and they are. They're probably very uh, comfortable with that. But yeah. yeah, how how did you guys talk about how you were going to be um, in these episodes? Did we talk about it? I mean, we had like a small conversation about it. Because again, our journey is different because we have never done, we have never practiced non-monogamy together it's outside like, of your coming into here. Yeah. But coming into it, we're just very conscious of each other. And then again, I'm also very aware that my person is also going through her own identity and realization of certain things as we continue to grow. So you just have to be aware. So for us, I wouldn't say sex was the first thing on our minds. We were trying to get the emotional connection. Which to me is really the scariest connection of yeah. all. Everyone, I mean, you saw how people were having sex right away, but then getting jealous of emotional bonding. Yeah. So for me, I was very serious about building an emotional connection. And right. even though it came off as in, like, I know you said, like, the whole friendship thing. Okay, I'm talking about more than that. I'm not talking about just friendship. I'm talking right. about, like, just an emotional connection. That's, like, the most serious connection. If you can have that, then right. everything else will be amazing. So right. and we were just talking about how we are on a daily basis. We were more so, again, saying, like, we're friends first, and then we're lovers second. Because for us, that works to keep our relationship solid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I will say this too, uh, really quickly. Um, Sean and I both come from single parent homes. He, my mom, would have both masculine and feminine energy in the house. His mom, so we're you know the only children by our mom. So we have a lot in common with our communication styles, yeah. right? We you know, and in the black community, communication and all that isn't the priority, right? I mean, there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of oh, don't say this, don't say that. So. We're coming in with our own traumas, our own communication styles, while Sanu is coming in with the whole poly house family. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, so we chose her because, yes, yeah, she's beautiful. She, if you notice, she was the first single that walked out. She was walking out. Oh, she, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to choose her. She exudes confidence. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. So, you know, so it's not that we never liked her or never saw that in her. We saw that. However, yeah. we got into the house, we noticed that maybe she was nervous also on the show. I yeah. mean, you know, we didn't. Talk, I don't even know what her favorite food is, her favorite color is. We didn't get deep about anything. anything. It was always about, like, um, maybe just Polly, you know. And I wanted to learn about that, but not every single day, you know. Yeah, Teach me day. that, but also tell me about, like, you, your, your last relationship, you know what I mean? Like, let's talk for real. Let's get in there. And we never, it was always just surface. It never got deep. And, you know, so that was the struggle that we had. And I was like, you know what, maybe this, maybe this isn't working right now. So we could just, you know, be cool and just figure it out, you know. Yeah. And I and like, Every day, it was just kind of like, well, 
where's your head at? And it's like, I don't know. And I just kind of like, I just don't know. And I'm on this show and I'm thinking maybe this isn't for me. You know, I'm freaking out. Should I leave? Like, you know, I have a million things in my head and I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. And that's Did you ever have like a moment where you really was considering leaving? In my head, I never actually like yeah. said it out loud, but in my head, I was just kind of like, Brittany, what are you doing? Like, yeah. is this even for you? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. what is going on? You know, mm -hmm. I was so open to, you know, to trying this out and then everybody's having a good time. So when I said everyone's having fun, like everybody, I mean, you should have seen it. They were like, all over each other. The boys had on matching um, shorts. They already all look alike. You know, everyone was just like, <laughs> you know, and I'm just, you know, depressed over here. So I'm just like, what are we doing? We're on national like, television. Happening? So it was a lot going on in my head. And it was hard to read. And you can't even read him. So it was <laughs> <laughs> no. maybe we'll, we'll see more more uh of sean emoting by the end we i already got to the uh to the part where you're having your arm around both uh Brittany and, Brittany. and every, everyone's like this is the biggest smile we've even seen so far let me just say this one thing too right so again you know i am hard to read but i was conscious of i'm not going to be on here being this Typical heterosexual male who has two women and yeah, it's love because that was his biggest battle. He came right. on the show not wanting to be like super excited. Right. So then when I get called out for not being there, I'm like, so now it's like it's maybe you should have been there. Yeah. So it's like a, you know. But I'm very aware of my partner and of the people who we are participating with. So I'm not trying to be this egotistical like male. I'm trying to actually open up and be emotional and like like let's see how this is supposed to work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know I appreciate that <laughs> so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, because there's a lot of, I think, men, straight men, who would be with a queer partner who would not even, like, think about that. So yeah. everyone got emotional when Denise Wilder and Corey left the resort. It was horrible. Yeah. Was Did they tell thing. you that they were considering that? Um, No, honestly, it was a surprise. And I don't know... Uh, how everything is like show, but me and Wilder were like very cool being that. Uh, yeah, Corey was like my bestie in the house. She's yeah. also a Corey, so yeah. it's just like. Yeah. So that hit us pretty hard because you start to form this like, not, I won't say weird, but just out of nowhere, you guys are like locked in because you're in this experience. Kind of like independency. Because we we're already yeah. in this house together, you know what I mean? And yeah. then like now that energy has is leaving, like what? This is weird now. We came here together. Right. Yeah. So yeah. He, it wasn't like forever, it felt like forever in that yeah. moment. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I I will say that I I wondered that actually. I wish we could see a little bit more of like the couples talking to each other. You later, um, Brittany, were talking to like Jonathan and I really loved watching I bet that. as well. Yeah. yeah. Everyone seems to really like Jonathan. You know, I don't know like what you saw or you know what you didn't see, but I know like I was very cool with everybody. So um, Jonathan just had a great energy, great vibe. You know what I'm saying? And I love the fact that I made them feel comfortable. Like whether you're gay or whatever like that, that didn't matter to me. Just if you was a good person, we rocked you. And Jonathan just exudes great energy. Like we love Jonathan. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to see how his story plays out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, okay, you guys get a new couple. How was it hard for them to like gel with the rest? It seemed like they were separated, honestly. Like the later episodes, it's just like them getting to know other thirds and stuff. And I'm like, okay, but we don't get to see um Maximo and Ash like hang out with Brittany and Sean or like the other. <laughs> So that's how they, they did that. Okay. Yeah. That's what it comes out Thursday for us. So yeah. Yeah. Because like I loved Mac Maximo and Ash. Like me and, me and Maximo moments. had a lot of moments. Yeah. We were very close because he's also from New York, just like Jonathan, and that's where I'm from. Okay. And it was like an instant connection. Maximo could understand because Maximo to me is like very intelligent. Maximo can speak super well and articulate his thoughts yeah. so clearly, which is something that I'm working on. So that's why I love him so much because I'm inspired by the way Maximo communicates. We even, you know, talked on the show a lot. So I'm actually shocked that yeah. you said that. And he felt very seen by me. Like, I let him know that I see both his masculine and feminine energy. Yeah. And 
I think that was so dope with how like you put we it together. We see that. We see oh, that yeah. conversation. I'll okay. say that. Um, but yeah, it just felt like they were catching up a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but to a degree, like if you uh, we'll think see. they did come in halfway in, so they somewhat are. Yeah. And, and yeah. We it's try like to speed everything. dating. Yeah, speed dating at this point for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so the big cliffhanger of this drop is that Darian, she's getting a little a little chummy with the new couple, and you guys spot that at one of the mixers. Can you tell us what was going through your mind at the masquerade, and you're like, oh, why is Darian talking so much to Maximo and Ash? Want to take this one? <laughs> <laughs> um... Just stay and find out. You'll have to find out. <laughs> You'll have right. to watch and find out. Is there anything else that you want viewers yeah. to know about mm -hmm. your experience? I guess I want the viewers to know that, well, one, I was a couple, but I could imagine what the singles were going through, yeah. coming out, swap after swap, mm -hmm. ceremony. You know what I mean? Getting all glammed up just to possibly not even be picked or whatever. After a while, not even wanting to step down because he wants to keep getting embarrassed time and time again. Yeah. So my heart definitely went out. That's why a lot of times when people did get swapped or whatever, I wouldn't really make eye contact with the people across. I'm like, this is just too much. Like I have yeah. to just stay here and smile when, you know what I mean? It's a lot. You're on TV, you probably feel embarrassed and stuff. So I definitely like was like, I mean, I didn't know the concept of anything till I started being on the show. So yeah. I didn't know how anything was going to go. So my heart definitely um, was going out to everybody for sure. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I get the whole like couples privilege thing. You know, I understand that because it kind of was a couples privilege. I mean, yeah. when you watch the show. Yeah. Um, That's the premise. So it's like, yeah. what do you do? I will yeah. say too that um, a lot of times I'm just being honest about something and I'm really being sincere and I don't, I don't see how it's me, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. And until I see comments, I'm like, oh, okay. I can't <laughs> you know, cause I'm so used to seeing things and I don't say everything in a mean way, but I'll say it and it, it can come across as something. So, I mean, when you watch TV, you learn also a little bit about yourself and what is edited as well. So <laughs> that is interesting. I would say too, like, uh, I know that I'm very sarcastic, but that's a part of my personality. And I'm naturally, 90% of the time, I'm just having fun. I don't take anything serious. So when I'm making like little sarcastic remarks, but you can't, you, know you me, can't tell because of the right. facial expression. But if you know yeah. me, I'm literally like, that's how I joke. I like to like poke fun, but if we're cool, you know that I mean no harm and I probably love you. So like, and shout me. out to uh, one of your girls you had, she had the braids, the blonde braids. She said, Sean, like, that is so chill. But really, he anti uh, anti. He say a lot of little slick comments. That's him. I be telling all of our friends, Sean ain't as nice as you think. Sean ain't as nice as you think. He's rude. <laughs> okay, he's mean. But okay. that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> if, I, how to describe it? Like me, it's weird. If I like you, or if we're friends, that's the vibe I'm giving you because that's me. Is funny. Yeah. I don't rock with you. I'm probably saying nothing to you. So you would never assume that I'm in or I have this side because we ain't yeah. there so give it to you. So I yeah. only give that to people who I actually I usually with. have that's to clean things stuff. up because I'm the one that can see <laughs> the room. So I have to like, that's you why I have to, even at the ceremony, someone has said, why wouldn't they talk to Brittany as well about the beads mm -hmm. or whatever. And I'm just like, you already know Sean's going to be like, so why would you even just walk over to him? Why not come to me? And last time I checked, uh, I saw Corey and Wilder say, they, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them, right, mm -hmm. TPM. Yeah. And then where, where's them at when it's time to, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it was Sean, it wasn't them. You know, and then when I said we made group decisions, we really do make group decisions. Yeah. Even when we didn't know what decision to make, that was a group decision. <laughs> so it's yeah, like, know. you know, so that's why when I felt left out because a big part of our relationship is, I don't like to feel left out. Yeah. So yeah. that's why in that moment, I really wanted to go off more, but then I kind of felt like there's cameras here. That's I the first, keep my cool. <laughs> that's the first time I realized, oh my God, I'm on camera because we went to the side to like step off and they were yeah. like, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, the body cameras. I'm like, yeah.
Yeah, they they're gonna be there. They're gonna yeah. make sure <laughs> if they're on the job. Uh, my question for you, Brittany, is that after this whole experience, if someone asks you like what your sexuality is, is that has the answer changed after this experience? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out yeah. in these next few episodes. Yeah. All right, all right. We'll see. Well, thank you so much <laughs> for your time. Thank I you. I had you. fun. <laughs> good, good. And I'm glad you're here. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I love the red. Thanks. I'm letting it grow up. So. Yeah. You have great energy too. Yeah, you do. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I try. Like reality <laughs> TV can easily go negative energy, and I try to like. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, what I think is great about you also is that. You can do a review, a review and you can give your opinions, but you give them without attacking. You know what I mean? You can say how you honestly feel, how you, how you perceived it, you know what I mean? And I, I literally laughed more than anything when I saw um, yeah. your review on the, the first three episodes. So yeah, I was like, I definitely would like to sit down and chat because you had good vibes. Like I can respect that you didn't attack, you just gave your opinions. Can't, like someone can't said, get mad at that. I think somebody said, oh, Flew down right now and Sean wouldn't flinch. I'd get the fuck out of there, okay? I'd run. <laughs> I'd, I'd and he still wouldn't ass. give any emotion. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. There's no tornadoes over there in California, so how would we know? Right. <laughs> <Do that. laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this interview. And yeah, just be mindful that everyone on the show is a human. So when you comment, keep that in mind. <laughs> Right, we're all humans. Yes. I come in peace. <laughs> come in peace. <laughs>